Well, tens of thousands of children in Virginia have received their first dose of a coronavirus vaccine, but health officials say their work is just beginning. Carolyn Coburn is live to tell us about some upcoming vaccination events and what parents need to know about the process. Caroline. Well, Robin Reba, here at the Arthur Ashe Community Center, children ages 5 through 11 can walk through these doors behind me and get a COVID-19 vaccine Mondays through Saturdays from 10 a.m. to 7.30 p.m. But this weekend, the Richmond Henrico Health District is also bringing the vaccines to area schools. Now, on Saturday from 10 a.m. to 3 p.m., children can head to George with High School and Elko Middle School to get a vaccine. Kat Long, a spokesperson with the health district, says this is in an effort to make the vaccine more accessible. According to Long, one of the health district's biggest challenges right now is educating parents that the vaccine is safe and effective for their young children. While we saw long lines when the vaccine was first available for other age groups, that hasn't been the same story for through five for five through 11 year olds. In fact, only about 12 percent of children in that age group statewide have received a COVID-19 vaccine in Richmond. That number is about 10 percent and in Rico County is right on par with the state average of 12 percent. Long notes when we see more children vaccinated, we could also see some coronavirus restrictions lessen. I think through a combination of more children becoming vaccinated, decreasing that community transmission, we'll have a lot of promising results for whether or not children and the general population will need to wear masks. Now, if you'd like to learn more information about the vaccine or sign your child up for an appointment, you can visit vaccinate.virginia.gov and you can also call 877-VAX-NVA. We'll also have more information at WTVR.com. Rob, Reba. All right. And again, at the Arthur Ashe Center, Saturdays, Mondays through Saturdays, 10 a.m. to 7.30 p.m. Caroline Colburn reporting live for us. Thank you.